Hi. Um, welcome to English W301. My name is Tanya Perkins and I'm going to be your professor this semester. Um, this is an online class, as you know, right? Um, but that doesn't mean it's a work at your own pace class. We have weekly modules um, in Canvas. I'm organizing our work with modules, as you'll see. And there are um, usually two deadlines or yeah, due dates per module. So there's usually two deadlines a week. Sometimes there's just one. So really be careful about noticing that. I try to make the deadlines the same every week. It's so usually, I'm, I'm not sure what it is for this course. It, typically I do Thursday and Sunday, and I think that's what this course is, but, but double check and follow whatever's in the module. Um, so it's really important, like I said, that you um, just use the modules, start at the beginning of the module and page through, do the work in the sequence uh, that the readings and assignments are presented in the modules. Um, okay, so what are we going to be doing? Well, this is an intermediate course in fiction, writing fiction. So we're going to be writing some short stories. We're also going to be on our way to writing short stories. Um, we're going to be doing quite a few short exercises. So pretty much every week there's going to be a short assignment, a short writing exercise, and then you are free to draw on those exercises uh, to develop them further into short stories. I think we're writing three short stories this semester. Um, I would ask that the work you do in this class be original to the class. So you may have written a short story for another class or you may have written a short story on your own. I would ask that you start fresh for this class. Um, I would also ask that uh, you, what, what we're doing in this class or what we're aiming for is literary fiction. And that is fiction which is interested in the human condition. So it's really character driven. Doesn't mean that plot isn't important. Plot and character kind of work off of each other, right? Because plot springs from the things a character does, the things a character wants or fears. Um, and obviously that's a reflection of the character's personality. So you can't really separate them out. But um, one of the challenges or one of the things I'm gonna be asking you to do this semester is to really work on developing interesting, convincing yet unexpected characters. So that means really digging deep into their personality, developing it. It doesn't happen in one go. It, this usually takes um, multiple revisions, multiple um, approaches, but we're going to look at some ways of, um, of ways of doing that. So we have three books we're reading this semester, um, and you can see on this Canvas page, you can see what they are. Um, this is ah, uh, The Art and Craft of Fiction by Cardos love this book. Um, so I recommend if you're really serious about creative writing, writing fiction, uh, buy this, don't rent it. It's such an awesome book. It also has a very good anthology. Um, so he has chosen some stories uh, to illustrate some of the ideas and it's, they're excellent. They're just excellent. So we're going to be reading quite a bit of this as well as some of the stories in it. Just a few of the stories in it. Um, the other book is Adam Johnson's Fortune Smiles. So Adam Johnson um, is uh, a relatively, well, I say relatively young writer. He's a contemporary writer. And let me just say the most of what we're reading this semester, I can think of one exception, are contemporary writers. So one of my goals as your instructor is to acquaint you with new writers, the, the people that, writers who are alive right now, writing literary works right now. So um, to me, that's very exciting. I think we're living in a time of, of some really amazing works being produced by young writers. So Adam Johnson would be included in that. He won the Pulitzer in, in um, either 2013 or 2014 for his novel, The Orphan Master's Son. But this collection of short stories is just, just perfect. I love teaching it. I've taught it multiple times. His work is a little tiny bit futuristic. I would consider it contemporary reality, but he's like operating like just on the cusp of what's technologically possible. So we do have Google self-driving cars, right? But they're just like, they're like the cutting edge. And considering he wrote this a few years ago, he really was writing just beyond what we're doing, you know, what technology is doing. 
So, and I would say, actually, now that I think about it, one of the stories we're going to be reading in here has to do with uh, holograms. So yeah, he, his, he, he, he is a tech geek. Aside from being an amazing writer, he is fascinated with technology. So he incorporates technology into his short stories in a way that's quite convincing and quite realistic. I mean, like I said, he's taking what is possible and then just, just stretching it a hair. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I think you'll really enjoy reading him. Um, and then finally, we're reading Daisy Johnson's Everything Under, um, which is a novel. One of, one of the things I wanted to do is incorporate a longer work into this course, even though our focus is really on short fiction. But I think it's interesting um, to also look at a novel. And again, Daisy Johnson is a very young writer. She's only 27. Um, this is her first novel, and it was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize, which is huge. <laughs> so she's a writer you should know. Um, the This book is kind of a... Uh, I would describe it as sort of magical realism. Like it is, it's reality. Like it's, you know, quote unquote reality. But, but again, she, she adds just like this little twist of, of it's reality, but it's not quite like there's a sense of myth. Uh, well, she's drawing on the Oedipus myth, right? She's kind of a retelling of the Oedipus myth with a distinctly feminist perspective, so it's from a feminist, from, from a woman's perspective, but it is set in present time, and it's just a little bit of magical realism woven in, so it's a very unusual work. The voice is kind of different, um, but I'll be interested to see what you think. Um, I read it over the break, and I just, it's, it's amazing, it's awesome. So we got some awesome writers that we're reading. Um, having said that, we're also going to read a short story by Chekhov, which was written at the turn of the night, 20th century, but more than 100 years ago. But anyway, um, let me see. So uh, Daisy Johnson, Everything Under, the novel, we are approaching that as a book club. So this is something new. I've never done this before. We'll see how it goes. But students uh, have often expressed the desire to have more interaction with fellow students in an online class. And that's really hard to do because we're, you know, students might be scattered all over, really all over the world. I mean, you know, I've had students in the Middle East and in Europe. So we're going to try this. Um, the book club, everything under book club, will meet five times this semester. If you, and, and you, okay, so let me just say, we'll meet five times, but you're only obliged to attend two of those sessions. And I have, um, the schedule is in, um, it's in the modules. I think it's in the very first module. Um, the schedule is spread out over the whole semester at different times. If you are not within driving distance of IU East's campus in Richmond, Indiana, I understand, you can, you can join via a Zoom video conferencing. So um, that's a very simple thing to do. I'll help anybody out who's never done a Zoom video conference. You do not need to download any special software or need anything. It's very, very simple. I'll essentially just email you a link you get online, make sure your camera's enabled, make sure your microphone's enabled, click the link and boom, you're with us. Um, if you can drive, that would be great. Um, if you're within driving distance, realistically, um, and we can meet face to face. And it's just, the, the purpose is just to have a discussion about it. So um, I've divided the book into five sections. It's about 50 to 60 pages per section. And, and each session of the book club will talk about that chunk, but obviously anything else having to do with the book. And then you, there's also a short written assignment to be turned in. You do have to do all five written assignments in connection with the book, but you only have to actually attend two of the sessions. Um, so take a look at the book club sessions and pick out what will work. If you are really in a jam, if you truly, truly, truly can't make two, let me know and we'll work something out, okay? Um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I guess I should tell you, uh, for those of you who don't, who've never had a class with me, I am an assistant professor here. I'm a full-time faculty member. Um, I got my master's in English at, from Western Washington University in Bellingham, Washington. And I got my MFA in fiction from uh, Murray State University down in Kentucky. 
and um, I moved here to Richmond, Indiana from Bellingham with my husband and my daughter about seven years ago. Um, and we live here in Richmond, Indiana. My daughter is a fine arts major here at IU East. She's a junior and she's never taken a class from me and so she never will. <laughs> and, <laughs> excuse me, I write short fiction. That's what virtually all of my publication has been, is short fiction. Um, and uh, I'm very interested in the short story. I'm interested in digital writing. Uh, I'm interested in interactive digital um, narratives, which actually I'm teaching a course in. Um, and I just, I love teaching 301. It's a wonderful course, and I hope you have an awesome semester. I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you. Okay, that's it. And I will stop this recording. <laughs>